this is one of the containers that I use to hatch brine shrimp. It'll have some aeration in it, but in this particular, I've pretty much used it all up, as you can see. But I've still got all of this salt water, and there's still some shrimp down here in the bottom and a few unhatched eggs. So this is the water that I'm going to use to raise these shrimp up to adults. What I don't want is all these empty shell casings on the top. So, since I got to hold the camera, uh, I'm going to show you, but what I do is I siphon this salt, salt water down into the container that we're going to use to raise the shrimp in. By the siphoning, I can siphon from the bottom. Got a kink in my hose here. I can siphon from the bottom so that I get as much of the water and the unhatched eggs and a handful of those baby shrimp that are still in there. I get all of that down in the container and I don't get any of these empty egg casings because that's, I mean, there's no shrimp there. It's just stuff that's going to rot and foul my water up quicker. So, as all this is siphoning its way down, it's all going down into this container. And it's just a 19 quart container. Got a light over the top of it. It's one of those throwaway disposable fluorescent lights, except you can change it. They're less than 20 bucks. And it just sits on top 24 hours a day. Now the liquid, since I've used this one before, you can see there's the beginning of some algae on the bottom because it's the same container I, I'm restarting. So this will get this little bit quart of water every day until it's got four, five, six inches of water in it along with the baby brine shrimp. So that's what I do with the salt water that you normally throw away. This is the plastic tub that I'm siphoning the shrimp into and the shrimp water just got a little fluorescent strip light on it and some aeration and they're not big enough to film yet to get it here but you can see the orange coloration there and that's the brine shrimp that I'm raising up to be adults I feed them spirulina powder you see it there on my thumb Get an idea how much there is there. Not much. What they don't eat will rot and spoil the whole thing. Don't want that. Now understand, this is a short-term process that I'm doing raising these shrimp because this is just just plain salt water. It's not ocean, not an ocean mix or anything. It's just salt and water. And as you can see, there's no filtration. I've just got some some bubbles going. And that's it. So this water's not going to last forever, but it takes about three weeks for the shrimp to raise up to adults, and it'll last that long. And then I'll start a new tub. Okay, let's check and see how my tub's doing. It's three days later than the last time we checked it. And I want you to see just how incredible the shrimp growth is. There's an adult one going by. You can see I've got lots of shrimp at, at all different ages throughout this tub and it really is ready to start feeding this is just an entire tub full of shrimp at all different stages growing up but there's a bunch of good sized ones in here now that I can get with a regular fish net that'll let all the little ones other small ones pass right on through and I'll have a lot of food to give to some of these epistos I have that it ought to really trigger them to go ahead and start spawning and remember, the only thing I'm feeding them is a little bit of spirulina powder. Uh, right now, I'm doing a little bit every day. When I when there's not so many shrimp in there, I do it about every three or four days, maybe once a week. And that seems to be enough to keep them going. And this is in a 19-quart plastic container. It's got about four inches of water in it. Been going for about three and a half weeks because it's kind of cold here in the basement, so they've been growing slow. Uh, got a single fluorescent strip light over the top of it that runs 24 hours a day and a Just an airline see there's no air stone on there just an airline in there Bubbles to keep the water moving. That's all there is to it. You put in your leftover brine shrimp water 
Make sure there's still a small number of little guys swimming around in there or some good eggs. Put a heat source on it and bubble it. And in three, three, three and a half weeks, even in a cool basement, this is what you've got. Lots of nice live food. I harvested some of these growing up shrimp yesterday, but the video came out really, really bad. So I'm going to give it another try. Now, this container right here is just plain fresh water that I'm going to use to rinse the shrimp with out of the salt water to feed the fish. So we're going to come over here and as you can see there's lots and lots of shrimp. So I'm going to use this net and see if I can get me some. Just a couple of quick swashes and then dunk it into here see what we get and let's take a look as you can see it's not too bad I got quite a few shrimp in here is what all this work has been for is to to raise these shrimp up and get them up big enough to feed the larger fish so I got this many this time I got about like this earlier this morning and once all this settles down there's still plenty of shrimp in there plus there's smaller ones still growing up so this will work for two three weeks before the water finally gets worn out and I'll have another tub going by by then to start taking up the slack